Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have a lot of leaked stuff to talk about because there's a bunch of player of the month cards coming out. There is the new OTW SP or not SPC, excuse me. I'm so used to doing player reviews. The new OTW promo this Friday, which guys, when it comes to the reviews with the OTWs, I may or may not do them. Like I know one leaked card, which is Sterling, which I could potentially do because I actually have them on my main account and we can look at the potential the card has for the future. But obviously with OTW cards, they're just basically the rare gold versions of the cards until they get upgraded, which I never like those promos, but for OTWs in the beginning of the year, it does make sense to have, right? It's just when they do that for other promos, I'm not like a huge crazy fan of it, right? I like when the cards are just kind of like upgraded already, you know? Uh, but guys, with the new promo stuff, we're, there's a lot to talk about, okay? Uh, with the first one, this is a huge new flashback card coming into the game. Um, a lot of people are probably going to want to do this uh, because you guys know that the pay split and the way that defense works in this game it doesn't matter as much, right? And if it's this guy, he's most likely going to be an absolute monster, okay? That card that I am talking about is going to be the new Flashback Tiago Silva card. So a card like this, they're probably going to release like during the week next week, uh, maybe like on a Wednesday or something, because there's no specific time period as to when they're going to release this card. But I'm going to be honest with you guys, it's set up in a pretty decent area, because if I actually take a look and see... Uh, the actual Tiago Silva card, who, to be fair, needs it, needs the upgrade. This is a card that's going to probably last for a very good, large majority of the year. Uh, it looks pretty good. I'm going to I'm going to explain to you guys why. OK, so you have to see that base card stats for pace, right? Looks like it's going to be at an 81. What well, potentially? I don't know if this is like a prediction of what it could be. Right. But if it is an 81, right? Let's take a look at what he has right here. He has a 49. So the 49 split between his pace and they can improve acceleration and sprint speed separately. It's going to be pretty saucy, right? Because sprint speed is more noticeable than uh, the acceleration. So let's say, for instance, I were to give him a shadow chemistry style, right? And I get that plus eight, plus eight and make his defense perfect because from this picture here, he's at, he's at an 89, right? So you would improve that part of the card. Look at where his physical already is. If that's improved while you can give him a shadow chemistry style, right? Honestly, it could be a similar situation. Well, it could be a, a situation where you don't improve the defense, but I highly doubt it's going to be the case. It's probably going to be a shadow regardless. Um, it's going to be pretty saucy because look at the pace splits. The pace splits right now is only a seven difference for acceleration and sprint speed. Okay, that's insane because you notice sprint speed more than you notice acceleration in this year's game. Okay, so defensively he's probably gonna be a beast i don't know if they give him like a weak foot improvement and stuff too because if they give him a four star weak foot that's gonna be crazy because guys tiago silva is a medium high work rated player and average body type is good for the defensive players so i highly doubt that he's gonna be an awful player right we're gonna be doing a lot of comparison between him and the other center backs in the game but at the end of the day brazilian while giving you Chelsea links and the Premier League links. It's different, right? It's not the same as Koulibaly if you want to build certain types of squads. So it's going to be something to definitely look into. Uh, again, the card definitely looks like it could be very, very good. Uh, there's a lot of center backs you can definitely choose from as of right now. But if you're collecting your fodder and you want a card that's a guarantee, that's a card to look forward to. Definitely going to be doing that review when it comes out. Um, another stuff or other things that have been leaked is the player of the month cards. So if we take a look and see... From the homie donk here uh valverde's card looks like it's going to be uh the same stats as the inform card but it's going to be changed into the center mid version so obviously you have the right wing version and then you have the center mid version um i don't know if it matters too much for valverde because what i'm curious of is they do the position changes anyways so if you get this right wing card do they not do that Where do you see? Uh, so let me just let me just check something real quick because Ronaldo Sanchez, you can move into the right mid position. So center mid, right mid. That's where it shows. It shows it on the actual card. Uh, OK, so what if it was Jota? Jota, it shows the same thing. Jota, center forward, striker, left wing. OK, so Valverde's card. The inform doesn't have it. And the rare gold doesn't have it. Oh, so that's a very huge variable to work with. Wow, that's really interesting that they don't make him a right wing from his rare gold card because that's literally where he plays in real life. Not complaining, though, because it's better to have this card as a center mid, especially in the beginning of the year. 
but you know um okay so interesting because valverde looks like a monster right most likely going to give him a shadow as well because listen with midfielders you want them to be able to attack and defend uh the way that i would use this card for the review would actually be perfect because we can use a 4-2-3-1 setup and we could test them out pushing forward and coming back right center mid giving you real madrid links there's a lot of things you can work with when it comes to that so no big deal um for that situation very very interesting stuff there so definitely looks really really cool interested in that card for sure uh the other card that is leaked is the uh, not leaked, but it's confirmed, is the Rashford card. So Rashford's card is very interesting because I've been using his rare gold card a little bit, um, and I was going to do his review, but it's kind of hard to get footage for this card because of the way that he kind of plays in-game. Um, I, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to finish to get a review for this card. Um, I'm curious to see because he's a left-wing, left-mid striker, so that's amazing as it is because the fact that you could switch his positions to be able to utilize him the way you want is really sick. But with this card... What's interesting is that he does have a three-star weak foot. So could you imagine if they do something crazy and they actually boost the weak foot as well and give him five-star, four-star right in the beginning of the game? We don't know, right? That could be a huge thing to work with. Um, I think that you're most likely going to give him a hawk potentially in the future as well because you're going to boost physical, shooting, and pace capabilities because if they improve base card stats for pace, why would you not give a physical boost on the card? Because obviously in this game, having physical players is pretty helpful right and he's a taller player right he's a six foot one dude he has a unique body type right so using him in that striker position is definitely going to be very very interesting especially since he's working with the variable of five star skills right it's definitely a very big deal um to have for this card so that's definitely going to be very interesting kim min J, kim min J, for a siri a uh, center back right because he plays for that's napoli in this game yeah napoli in this game uh the pace split is fine because if he gets a player of the month it's going to be in a very good area that card's going to be good napoli links are not like too terrible to work with too yeah that's definitely a very interesting one actually napoli links obviously south korean like there's not a whole lot to work with but in giyu's case whatever south korean card they release they can just add individual um like players in the game like one from Bundesliga one from this one for that and he'll be fine right which is really sick because he could technically make a team where he has Park Ji Sung and Kim Min Jae in a team right like that'd be kind of saucy to work with that wouldn't be bad whatsoever but yeah for the player of the month version of the card the pace split is in a very very good area so let's say for instance they were to do like a plus three or four on that card he would be great. His defensive stats would also be in the mid 90s, low 90s area, which is fantastic because his physical stats is also in a fantastic area. He's six foot three, medium high work rates with a high and average body type. That's all great for this game, right? So some very good stuff there if he ends up getting a player of the month card. Uh, and then the other one is the, um, what is it? It's the uh, ba -ba 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 Gakpo card, right? So Gakpo, Gakpo's card, uh, apparently coming out, I think, maybe on the Tuesday, I believe. Because I think the way that they're going to do it is, I think on the, on the Friday will be Rashford, Sunday will probably be Valverde, and then Tuesday they'll probably do um, the Eredivisie one, which, thank you, EA, if you actually do that, thank you for spreading it out and not putting it all on the same time. Thank you so much. I don't know if it's like licensing or whatever, but if I had to do all of the reviews in one day, ugh, you know, but guys... Gakpo actually does look very interesting. I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, what they could potentially do, because this card is left wing, left mid, is I don't know how, where he played in real life for PSV, but if they switch him to the striker position, that's a huge variable to work with if you're trying to build those types of squads. So if you're going for Dutch players or you're going for Eredivisie players, this card is really well formatted, right? Because let's say, for instance, they boost the base card stats for shooting to be in a very good area. You give this card an engine chemistry style, he's pretty solid, right? He's very, very good. He's a four-star, four-star player. Medium, medium work rates is interesting. I wonder if they would actually change that for the player of the month card. Only time will tell, right? High and average plus body type is interesting, but in this game, guys, the physical players are actually pretty decent up top, right? They're actually pretty decent. So that card's going to be uh, an interesting one to take a look at whenever that thing comes out, right? So physical stats, 82 for stamina. Like the physical stats is in a good area too. 80 for strength for this card right now. Like let's say for instance, they were to release the card as you see it right here. 
I, I, I would say an engine chemistry style would still be good because you would still try to work super high percentage strike angles for you to be able f for you to be able to finish your opportunities because guys inside the 18 yard box strikes they're pretty good you know what I'm saying so it could be ideal to give them that a hunter wouldn't be terrible either because I could see them doing a striker version of this inform card for that card right there uh, the other thing that we're gonna brush past not brush past but we're actually gonna kind of go through it quickly is the potential of the OTW cards, right? So I'm gonna show you guys um, the list here. It's like somewhere around here. So it's these guys right here, right? So uh, we got Lewandowski, uh, Schuamane, we have Schlotterbeck, we have Holland, Anthony, Tolisso, Rudiger, uh, Dybala, Nunez, um, Mane, Adams, Kessier, Sterling, Richarlison, and Dest, right? So with these cards, guys, in, reg in regards to player reviews, um, we're going to see which ones we actually end up doing, because like I said, they're all going to be in their rare gold cards right now. Mainly, it's going to be like the upgrades that they get. But when they get upgrades for OTWs, it's not really like worth it for the YouTube channel. What I want to do is when the Sterling SBC comes out, I can do a review for that because I technically have the rare gold card. Right. And then we can basically go from there. Some of these cards here, like Holland, Anthony, I'm going to be doing those reviews tonight, uh, which you guys will be seeing. It's going to be like a bunch of spam uploads for the most part. Um, so you guys will be able to see that. Um, and the rest we did not review, right? We have a couple of other players that we actually ended up checking out because we got the game on the 27th. So obviously you kind of have to, uh, collect all that footage for all those types of those types of players, right? So we'll see what they do, what we do for OTW, right? But we can kind of go through these cards in regards to what we're going to be looking for. Uh, you guys gotta let me know because I think that they're going to improve informs a little bit differently. Like maybe they could potentially get a weak foot upgrade uh, this year. I think it's a little bit different, right? Because uh, with Lewandowski, let's be honest, if you end up packing a Lewandowski, whether it's an untradeable or tradable, you are, in my opinion, essentially guaranteed upgrades. Like if this card doesn't get upgraded in the future, I would be super, super surprised. Okay. So getting him untradeable, getting him tradable, I think would be absolutely fantastic for him. Not going to lie to you guys. Okay. Lewandowski definitely looks really solid. He's probably going to be a card that you always give the engine chemistry style to as well. So it looks pretty saucy. I'm not going to lie, especially if they boost the pace to be like an 85 ish area, it would be pretty decent to work with for a card like this because he is also someone who is high medium, unique body type, six foot one, a lot of very good stuff to work with there. Uh, Shuamane, I've heard actually pretty good things about this card as the center midfielder, right? As the person playing the actual CDM position. Uh, because with pace, guys, okay, so you see his pace splits, right? I've used Polinia, right? I use this card, and his pace split is horrible 67, 68. Right, 75, 76. You could still use this card on the new gen console. Not gonna lie to you. Okay. So with Shuamane, I think he probably has better base characteristics than the Palinga card, right? Uh Shuamane is also medium high, high in average plus body type, uh three star, three star. When it comes to informs, though, uh, hard to say if he's gonna get those uh those improvements, you know, hard to say. Uh maybe, you know, maybe because like that one pass, I think it, I'm pretty sure it was him that made the pass to Rodrigo. To score that goal against Atletico Madrid, maybe. Because with, with midfielders, I don't know, it's hard to say like if they would actually get the improvements because ever since Casemiro has left and this guy went into the squad, like after that first like really rough game, or not rough game, it wasn't really rough, it was like an okay game. Afterwards, he's been a monster. Like this guy's been in like he's been on crazy, crazy time period, man. Like I'm I'm not even joking. Like he's been so good. Um so for that reason, I could see him getting some pretty decent upgrades because he is formatted very nicely on that medium high work rate. Right. Currently 9.5 K because people look at pace. They're like, oh, I cannot do it. Right. But it's still going to be a decent card to use. Pretty tall player, six foot two, high and average body, uh, high and average plus body type. So some good stuff there. Uh, Schlotterbeck. Schlotterbeck. Ooh, he's really well formatted. Yeah, but it's it's a matter of whether or not this card gets the improvements. You know, that's an interesting one. Pace split is good. Defense is in a very good position. Physical is the main thing that needs to be improved, but it still looks like okay because he's six foot three, high and average body type. So no big deal there. Um, Holland, we will be doing a review for. If Holland, ah, uh, dude, Holland is gonna get informs. If you get his OTWs, he's gonna get informs. Let's be let's be real, okay? Let me tell you guys something. This review we're gonna be putting out soon. Uh, this card on an engine chemistry cell is a monster, okay? OTW. Basically, imagine giving him like, I don't know what type of improvements they do in the future, but imagine 
you get better dribbling on top of like how this game already works, to be honest, right? Base shooting is improved. I don't care if it's plus one or two. His base shooting is already in a crazy area. Passing improved, pace improved, especially in the acceleration department. That's pretty crazy, right? It's a card you're probably always going to keep an engine on, to be honest, because his shooting for base card stats is in a very good area. Um, but yeah, he looks pretty saucy, not going to lie, like he does, especially with those improvements. Uh, Anthony is another card that... It's an interesting one in regards to whether or not he'd get upgrades, you know, because he's been pretty well. He's been pr playing pretty well for Man United recently. Not gonna lie, like he's he hasn't really had to settle too much. Like he's been pretty nice on that right side. Um, whether or not he would actually get a card up for debate, right? Uh, I feel like in the future, it would be really nice if you can give him like a marksman and then they would improve the base card stats for agility, balance, composure and all the shooting stats. I think that would definitely be a very, very nice thing for sure. Uh, what else do we have here? Toliso. Does Toliso have a decent card this year? Let's see. Toliso. Toliso. Does Toliso play for Bayern Munich? I don't think he does, bro. Oh, he went to Leon. Hmm, I see. That's a little different, actually. 69-69. Lol. Um, hmm. I mean, you know what? The card... If he gets that one upgrade, looks pretty good. I'm not going to lie to you guys. He gets the one upgrade, like the pace isn't a pretty... What's his work rates? High medium does add a little bit of an interesting variable on him. For sure. It's always... When you're high medium, I feel like having higher pace is really helpful. Because like, dude, I think you guys a very good example, right? This review will be coming out, so you could technically do the... I, I'll put OTW in the title like at the end so that people can technically watch the review for it, right? But... This card, look at the pace, shadow, but he also has high defensive work rate. So that makes a really big difference, you know? So that OTW will be interesting depending on the upgrades. Rudiger, I have not seen anything about this card yet. No one has told me anything about him yet, but he looks pretty good too. He definitely looks like a card that could be full meta because the pace play is not bad. He has 99 in sprint speed, which is pretty crazy. And his defense is in a fantastic area too. So if he gets improvements... It's mainly for base card stats in passing, acceleration, physical. Physical is a big one, okay? Because he has really good physical stats already. And then the dribbling too, right? For agility, balance, dribbling, composure being increased. That would be really nice. Uh, Dybala. Let's see Dybala's card. Dybala might be really saucy this year, actually. Let's see. 33k for this Dybala card. Oh, he actually looks nice. Reactions is on a lower side, but this card looks great on a hunter. Yeah, he looks really saucy. I would probably mainly use this card as a cam. Three-star weak foot. So maybe if they do any sort of upgrades for future improvements, maybe they do a weak foot upgrade. Who knows? High-low work rates. The high-low work rates is an, is an interesting one, eh? An aggressive cam or striker, right? It's a card that has traits too, right? Yeah, finesse shot trait, outside foot shot trait. That weak foot improvement would definitely be a welcome thing. But his shooting's in a pretty good area. And he has four-star skills. So... I like that, to be honest. Uh, Nunez is the other one. Uh, this card, I mean, wasn't too crazy about him. I didn't, I didn't like, I didn't even feel like trying him else, to be honest with you. Because, like, he looks, I mean, you give him an engine, he looks pretty decent. You know, if you play him in, like, the initial divisions, like 10 or 9. Afterwards, you could definitely score some goals with him, for sure. I'm not saying that you can't. You definitely could. But, yeah, he needs improvements, though. And dribbling, a little bit of dribbling would be nice. Base card stats for shooting would also be nice because I think you'd still give him an engine, to be honest. Right? What does a hawk give? A hawk is eight and four. Physical. If you're going to use a card like this, I mean, you might as well use him at a hawk at that point, right? Because the dribbling being where it's at. Uh, Mane. Oh, Mane's getting a card, eh? You know what's funny about Mane is that this one is a left mid. Do they have striker on him? They have center forward on him. Maybe. Because, dude, he plays striker mainly for Bayern. You know, 4 2 3 1, he plays striker. So maybe they do. Because I don't know, with the OTW cards, would they. With the OTW, they change it based off of like inform, I guess. You know, because like, like for previous years, the position change would definitely be interesting. Because center forward is nice, but it's hard to work with center forward. You know, it has to be like 4 4 1 1. Uh, a striker would be better. Because a striker is like, dude, you play a 4 5 1, you get that one. Um, or that those two players in your team that give him those links, you know, like it wouldn't be it wouldn't be a terrible thing to work with. And the nationality is nice too. 
there's a lot of things you can do with that nationality. There really is, you know? So that's actually pretty cool, too. Um, we have Adams. This is the guy from Leeds, I believe, right? Which Adams is this? American Adams. Oh, so yeah, it's the guy from Leeds. Mm -mm. Oh, he could be nice, actually. Uh, mm. See, you could use this guy on a, sh on a shadow, but he has no shooting capability. So it's one of those cards where like you would keep on stay back while attacking as your CDM. You'd have to experiment with this high high. I really believe that medium high is super important for a CDM personally right but uh high high wouldn't be like completely horrible because look at the boost you give him on a shadow you know you know like especially with a p potential improvement in the future i like it uh cassier cassier looks like a monster this year i think he's like expensive right now he might be like 50k or something let's see 36k yeah so 36k for cassier very well formatted card high high work rates though uh, probably a guy i'd keep on stay back as well in that cdm position I mean, he could see, he could technically attack. The pace is not in a terrible position for the high defensive work rate, but just for that physical presence in that midfield position, it'd be nice. It'd be nice. Uh, Sterling, uh, the main thing would be the weak foot improvement, right? Because, dude, weak foot's like a really big deal this year. Like, improving weak foot would definitely be a very, very welcome inclusion. Um, he might go up in price if Thiago Silva's dropped. Maybe. Maybe for those links. Thiago Silva, he could be very saucy. A four-star weak foot improvement would definitely be nice. Uh, we currently use this card on a Hunter chemistry style playing in the ramp position. I would say it's his weak foot mainly, right? Definitely going to be getting that review out as well at some point because he's still on my main account. So whenever I get time to play on my main accounts, because we always play on different accounts because of the content that we create, um, then yeah, we'll see what he's like as well. Um... To do Richarlison. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I have not seen Richarlison use one time, so his card cannot look good this year. Let's see. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. He needs improvements. This card needs improvements. You know what, though? This year, I could see him getting improvements because Richarlison's actually been pretty good for Spurs. I'm not going to lie to you guys. He's actually been pretty good for Spurs. Not bad so far, because I think he scored, like, two goals in the Champions League the other day. Like, you know, not bad. Engine chemistry style in the league, in those improvements. He's got a five-star weak, but that's the main thing here, right? If he gets that upgrade, he could be very good in that striker position. Offers physical. Dribbling base card stats would be improved. That's a card to look out for, for sure. As of right now, 3K makes sense for, like, the beginning, beginning players, right? But with an improvement, whew. He could be very, very nice. That, that, that's a nice card right there for sure. And then last but not least is Dest. Dest might not might not be uh, might not be too bad. Let's see. Definitely needs an improvement as well. Anchor chemistry cell or shadow shadow chemistry cell. Okay. Ooh, physical needs to be massively improved. Eh, I mean, honestly, it's it's a it's an OBJ, right? Oh, do you have to play uh, squad battles for that? If you do, oh, you have to play squad battles. Oh, oh. But um, yeah, that's it for the promo cards, guys, as far as uh, I'm concerned with the, the leaks and whatnot. Honestly, uh, this week is starting off pretty decently. Not too bad. Obviously, they're not going to start off with like a promo card where like cards actually get specific upgrades. So when it comes to the reviews, we're going to feel it out a little bit, right? Because uh, you might as well just get the rare gold cards to review the OTW cards. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to review some of the rare gold cards from the OTW team, like Ronaldo Sanchez, Holland, Anthony. You guys will see that. I'll put in the title otw if they're actually confirmed to be released like when they are um on the friday but um yeah definitely some very interesting th stuff here um i mean the flashback and tiago silva looks absolutely wild so um hopefully you guys enjoy this video today uh later tonight there will be a spam upload a schedule so we'll upload this one first and then probably like four o'clock in the morning eastern time we have ronaldo hall and ronaldo sanchez all of these guys are gonna be released as well okay so um yeah i'll catch you guys then Peace out, my dudes. Love you guys.